Before we jump into today's video, I just want to give a quick shout out to this video's sponsor, AOA.com. To buy runes, any item, weapon, or piece of armor in Elden Ring, check out the link in this video's description and use the code MGREZA at checkout for 3% off your purchase. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to zip and mega zip using an easy to edit macro. These glitches are used for speedrunning and have helped Dist complete the game in less than 10 minutes. Before we do anything, you're going to need the macro that we're going to be using. So come to this address here that I will link in the description below and then download this top one here. Click that, download. Then you'll have this. You will need to download auto hotkeys as well for this script to work, so make sure you download that as well. Once we have it downloaded, click on it and it will start running. To see it, you will have to click down here and then it's this H here. From here, you can open it up. Once you've opened it, I want you to click File, then click Edit Script, and this is what you should see. It looks a bit confusing at first, but all you need to worry about is this part of the code here. All it's telling is, all it's telling it to do is press buttons, wait, and then press other buttons. All this is just comments, so if you don't want something to happen, you're just going to put a semicolon in front of it, and then that line of code is not going to be executed. But more on that later. So. All you need to worry about are these digits here, 133. This is how many frames you wait before it does the next action. So the things that I would mess around with to try and get this work for your PC, because each computer is a different with different frame rates, is this part and this part. They're the only two numbers, 133 and five, that you're gonna change. Here you can see some testing that the guys that made this did originally. I'd start by testing these out for your computer, then try and deviate if it's still not working. For me, all I had to do to get mine working is change mine from 5 to 4.5, which seems to be the best sweet spot to get mine to work most of the time. I will also show you how to edit this code later and show you how to make it into a mega zip. Once you've edited some code, you need to make sure that you save it, and then you need to reload the script, because otherwise it will not use the edited version that you've just made. So make sure that you're doing that every time. So if we look here, this is the button that we're gonna to use to run our code. So it's Control and J. So when we're in game, we're gonna press that and it's gonna do this automatically for us and hopefully zip us across the map. Another great piece of software that I would recommend downloading for this is River Tuner, which is this bit of kit up here, which tells me my exact FPS. Another thing for this is you need a solid 60 FPS. That is why I have been really, really struggling with this and fine tuning my code, because as you can see, mine is a little bit all over the place at the minute. One thing you can do to stabilize this code is actually look down, because there's less things to render on your screen. So now I'm at a solid 16.6, which makes it dealable. So now I'm at a solid 16.6, I just need to press Control J and then just try it a couple of times because again, it has to be frame perfect. If your computer's not at a constant 16.6, oh, there we go. So it's all to do with the timings, whether you get a short zip or a long zip. I'll show you a long zip next. Usually it goes a bit further than that, so we're gonna try that again. Again, these are the issues that you have. It's all about testing it and trying different things with your computer. If you're at a constant 16.6, then you should be able to test it a lot more accurately than I am. Because mine is constantly changing, I find it a lot harder to find and test. And there we go, there is a good zip for us. And that just shows that on these computers, when you've got different uh, FPS is coming in, it's hard to test and find the exact time and find the exact timings of everything. But if you've got a solid 16 point, um, so up here, if we've got a solid 60 FPS, then um, it makes it a lot easier for testing and finding out that sweet spot. But anyway, that is a quick guide on how you zip and how you test it and how you make it work for your computer. Another thing that I highly recommend is that you come to your system and you just turn everything on to lowest and then you put your resolution to the lowest it can go as well because that will help with the FPS. Anyway, on to the mega zip. The code for the mega zip I have got here. All I have added is these four lines here. Remember, if you want to practice and not delete your code, you can always add in your semicolons like this, this and this. That is now commented out. That means this line of code will not be executed. So you don't, if you don't want to use the mega zip, just do that. It won't get executed even if you save it like that. 
So again, these are the lines of code that I've added. You're going to wait 11 frames since after you put your W up from your first press, then you're going to press it down. You're going to wait 2.5 frames and then you're going to bring your uh, forward movement up again. And that's how I managed to get my uh, mega zip working. But again, it might not work for you. It's all up for you. To, it's all up to your PC and your requirements. So you need to mess around with these numbers, this number, this number, this number, this number, and see what works for your PC and system. Here is the mega zip in action. Anyway, good luck speedrunning guys. I hope some of you managed to beat this record. Anyway, see you later guys. Bye.